Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers. Welcome to the Root Tip of the Week. But let's start with the illusion of the week. Hi, today's root tip involves canal projectors, so I thought it might be fun to use a magic trick that involves thought projection. In just a moment, I'm going to bring in Jill to help me by picking any one of these items. I'm going to make her pick the Coca-Cola. The problem is, as you'll soon see, we did this in front of a green screen, and that's where green is the background, and we can replace that with any set we want. And this is the way the weathermen do their tricks and that sort of thing. But what I didn't realize was, in front of a green screen, you take a bottle of green Coke and it pretty much disappears. And that's the same thing for a clear glass. A lot of times, most of the glass will disappear. So we're going to do a couple of magic tricks that I didn't plan to do. And please forgive me, but I think you'll be able to see the effect anyway. I didn't want to reshoot this because I explained to Jill how the trick was done. And I don't want to give that away. So let's go ahead and and bring Jill in and we'll show you how this works. Okay, today's experiment has to do with the canal projectors you just saw, and I'm going to try to project an image into Jill's mind. Do you mind, Jill? I don't mind at all. Okay, have we prearranged anything? No, we have not. Okay, she has no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm simply gonna ask you to concentrate. There's something in the bag, and I want you to get a picture of it in your mind. Okay. And then when you sort of get, it's one of these items. Okay. What I'd like you to do is just any two of them, pick, pick any two right now, pick up two of them. Pick up two of them? Just pick up any two. Is it the two that I think is in the mm, bag? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. I'm not okay. going to tell you. Just, just pick up two. Just any, pick up two random. Any, any, any two you two, want. Any two. Any Whether two. I'm thinking about it or not. Right, okay. right. Uh, Salt and Coke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you have free choice, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to give me one of those. Give you one? Doesn't matter which one. Is there a reason that you picked the Coke? Let me just show you something that I think you might find interesting as our little prediction right here. <laughs> is there anything else in the bag? No. As a matter of fact, there's nothing in the bag, is there? In the bag. Nothing at all. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Here's something I bet you haven't seen before, but this is something that's a really nice adjunct. You will rarely use it, but when you need it, it's kind of neat. They're called canal projectors. They're only available from one source, directly from the manufacturer, and that's John Muntz. And your information is in your notebook. His phone number is in there, cjm at silicon.com. And what they are, they're little plastic things that fit over files that allow you to do a complete core buildup without losing where the canals are. In fact, they, they project the canal orifices up to the cavo surface margin. And they just fit on a regular file. So what you do, if you've got a tooth that's missing a lot of tooth structure and you can't get a rubber dam clamp on it, or you need to build some type of core on there before you do the root canal to get a good seal, you get one of these, select the size you like, put it on a file that then goes down in the canal. It comes with a little round burr that's the same diameter as the ends of these things. And the way you do it is slip the file in there with a little Gel, a canal projector up here, and then you build your composite up, and you take the file and the canal projectors out. And what you're left with when they come out is a little hole and a projection of the canal all the way up to the top of the tooth. Now, why do you really need to do that? One of the basic reasons is you can restore the complete core buildup and not have to take it out or redo it later, because you will just repair the little openings where these projectors are with flowable composite. And you can then, once they're up to the top of the tooth, you can reduce the occlusion as Vince suggested yesterday, and then you've got a flat surface with your canals very visible, easy to find, not down in the pulp chamber, out of sight. This is especially important if you've got multiple canals that are very close together. So you can project to the surface of the model or to the tooth. This is especially helpful if you have internal resorption. Have you ever had a case of internal resorption where you went in, you were able to clean it out pretty good, but you had a lot of trouble finding where the canal picked up on the other side of the resorption process? And when you did find it, you clean that out, you go to the next file, now you're stuck over here and you're jumping around trying to get all that cleaned up. You got all this fluid in here and it's very difficult to treat. What you can do with these canal projectors 
is take and place one of the files in the tooth with a projector on it and inject flowable composite bonded into place to fill all that area where the internal resorption was. And now it just gives you a nice little cylinder when you take it out to do the root canal. And the root canal basically is already done all the way down to here because the canal projector gives you the perfect size and shape for a filling. And there's an example of that. Sometimes internal resorption can be caused by the dentist. You're looking around for a canal that you can't find. And you keep drilling. Go a little bit deeper. Where is that doggone canal? And you keep drilling. And you keep taking pictures. And you're going wider and wider. And you're all over the place looking. Finally, you find it. You just created the situation I talked about. You've got this area down here that you want to try to find from all the way up here. But if you slide a canal projector on it and feel around, once you get it in place, inject composite around it, acid etch first, inject the composite, and then pull this out, and now you're left with a beautiful tapered preparation. You finish the bottom of it, and you're all done. They slide out easy. They're very smooth, and what you can do is take the file and unscrew the file a little bit, or you can actually, most of the time, just turn it a little, and it will twist, and the whole thing will pull out. The plastic and the file comes out together. If it doesn't work, you can take a larger file and dig it in a little bit and pop it out. You don't have to lubricate them. You can just slip them right out. What if you've got a lot of canals that are right together? Let's look at this case. Four canals right there in a row. So how do you go in this one and then to the next canal and make sure you go with each file into every canal without slipping into the one next door? Get your four canal projectors. Slide them in. Get your files fitted. Put the projectors on there. Slide them in place, and then do your core buildup, take the projectors out, prepare the canals, place the gutta percha in those canals. A whole lot easier to find these openings when they're up on the cavo surface margin than they are way down into the tooth at the bottom of the preparation. And you obturate. Uh, actually, we forgot there's three more canals on the mesial. So there's one, two, three. Those two are right there close together. Three more canal projectors, preparation done, got a percha, finished case. And don't we just see that every day? This would be a very difficult case at best, but almost impossible without these projectors. Give it a try. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Indo Root Camp.